Hair loss on testosterone. Testosterone replacement can certainly be an incredible blessing for men that need it. And it's very clear that testosterone replacement has side effects. Now, I'd like to start a series of what I call on testosterone. This is the first. I'm going to go from the head all the way down as if you were a new patient of mine and I was diagnosing you with low testosterone and considering therapeutically giving you testosterone. I always start with men from the top down. So I think this is going to be very helpful for men that are considering testosterone replacement therapy, but of course men that are already on testosterone replacement therapy and they're seeing the side effects and they're considering should I go forward. As the world's first testosteronologist, I've converted my whole professional life to only taking care of men on testosterone. And for this series, I will utilize scientific and clinical aspects to discuss how testosterone can cause these side effects. So, taking it from the top, hair loss is called male pattern balding. It's a multifactorial process. It's an interplay of hormones, genes, other medical conditions like thyroid, autoimmune conditions, and dermatologic conditions underlying like psoriasis, eczema, or seboric dermatitis. Age, as someone gets older, even women, hair loss occurs. Stress and depression. So you could see that the interplay of hair loss on or not on testosterone happens and it's very multifactorial. Not to mention the side effects of medicines and medical treatments not just chemotherapy and cancer, but a lot of other medicines that are given will lead to hair loss. So you have to understand this and you have to be a great internist, testosterologist, and do a detailed history and physical. The science behind male pattern balding and hair loss. We know that testosterone, both endogenously from your own body, your testicles, and exogenously, which is administered from shots or from gels, pellets will convert to dihydrotestosterone, DHT. DHT is five times more potent than testosterone itself systemically, and it has to interact with the antigen receptor. There's multiple genes for this all throughout the body. DHT is active classically in the hair follicle, skin, and in the prostate, and also in the central nervous system and how it leads a man to feel well, not to mention a great libido and sex life. It's not necessarily the amount of testosterone or DHT in your system that causes male pattern balding. It's the sensitivity in the interplay of your hair follicles to DHT. It's determined by your genes. This is why we see men that can be on testosterone, not to mention steroids, even aggressive steroids like Tren, and not have hair loss or very minimal hair loss. There's so much genetic play going on. This is why when I see a man initially not on testosterone replacement, and we do the review head to toe, we talk about hair loss, and I see that he's already lost some hair, or he's basically balding fully, I'll say to him, testosterone replacement is definitely going to worsen this. Of course, we're going to talk about the therapies you can interact to slow it down. But this is a strong warning. If your hair is that important for you, I say it all the time, and you're not feeling that poorly, and hair is a deal killer, don't do testosterone replacement or be very, very, very concerned that it's going to worsen this condition for you. What can be done for men that are on testosterone that want to minimize hair loss, because there's going to be some hair loss. 
Number one, get a good history and physical, as I said, to determine underlying medical processes that can be determined, identified, and potentially reversed. That's step number one. Get a good history and physical. Okay, what are the agents? Let's roll the sleeves up. Minoxidil, topical minoxidil is only for, not for the, the pattern balding in the front, it's the top and apex, very important, back of the scalp. The mechanism of action is that it prolongs the growth phase of hair growth and it brings increased circulation to that part of the scalp. Next, 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, finasteride that everyone knows is Propecia, and dutasteride. This is for BPH. It's a DHT 1 and 2 blocker. But people really in the streets and guys that know this stuff know that these drugs are very effective. These definitely will work on slowing down hair loss off testosterone, just a natural man, and on testosterone. The problem is, and I'm telling you, be very careful with this. It's not just take a drug, testosterone, and hey man, let's block the effects of it because the libido, the central nervous system, remember, there's many genes and there's definitely receptors in your brain for libido and well-being and depression for DHT, not to mention androgen receptors. When you use these drugs, you have to be very, very careful because if you don't use them properly, even small doses like tiny quarter doses and every other day doses, twice a week doses, men tell me that my sex drive really got affected, doc. I don't know if it was from this or something else, but I don't know if it's worth it to me, doc. I want to have a great sex drive. So be very careful for men that are on testosterone thinking they could use this. And of course, men that are not on testosterone see finasteride syndrome see that video I did. Please, men, beware. Next, ketoconazole, antifungal medicine shampoo, or just the medicine delivered topically. It's controversial that it's a DHT blocker, but the mechanisms that I believe actually work on this, and it works a little bit. This is like a toolkit, right? I'm just giving you every single tool that I know medically as an expert taking care of men and testosterone that it reduces the inflammation that can occur from many, many conditions in the scalp. These are dermatologic conditions. Seboric dermatitis, it's classically used for that. And if you're losing hair from that and you're applying this regularly or when you have that condition flare up, it's going to slow down the hair loss. It's kind of common sense. But there are side effects of this stuff very topically and people can get allergies to any medicine, so you have to be careful. Consider a dermatology consult. The doctors that are experts in hair loss are dermatologists. I think a lot of people in America know this, but maybe all around the world they're not aware of this. Next, laser treatment can definitely work. This is stuff I really don't really know so much of the outcomes. I don't see too many men do that. Next, PRP, that's going to be platelet-rich plasma. It seems like it works for the apex and the back type hair loss. I've seen men do it. They go for multiple, multiple treatments, and it does work. PRP for hair loss. I think it works. Next, cosmetic tricks like root cover-up. You ready for this? See my hair? I've been on testosterone for over 20 years, and I was experiencing slow hair loss because I have pretty good genes for hair loss. You take a look at my brother, his hair is thick as a rug. I use carefully something like this. This is magic root cover-up. I use it. You spray it on, it's topical, it covers up just the areas and it kind of sprays the scalp so it looks like your hair is thick. Even up close in person it looks pretty good. The warning is that it can rub off over days and it definitely makes my pillow dirty so I'm very careful if you use it, you scratch it, you're going to see some of that powder, you know, dye. It's, it's a powdered cover up. You'll see it. I learned this trick from actors and people that have to go in front of the cameras and they use this classically for years. So I really hope that can help people. That's so easy. Next, hair transplants. In the end of the day, so many men come to me, they love testosterone and they just say, Doc, you know what? Let's get that hair transplant. And they go for the hair transplants. If you go to an expert hair transplant surgeon early, it's gonna cost some money. It's actually based on how many 
individual follicular transplants. It's per, per hair uh, follicle. It's incredible. It can be 10 grand or even more. You go to a very, very good surgeon. They take it from areas that are not DHT related or affected, and they, they call it, I call it reforestation. And I'll probably do it sooner or later, but until then, I'm just going to keep using this kind of stuff. Cheap and effective. And you know what? In the end of the day, I tell you, if you're going to be on testosterone, gentlemen, if you're going to love testosterone, and if you need testosterone from head to toe, there are going to be side effects. This is definitely one of the side effects, and I explained all the potential ways you can minimize that that are real. You could even uh, give comments what you've done. Please give comments. Let's see what's real and what's maybe worked for you. But at the end of the day, I'll tell you, if you don't feel that bad, and you're considering testosterone, and otherwise you're okay, but you really look forward to it, but you want to do it, but if the hair loss is a deal killer for you, hold off. Don't start testosterone. You really want to consider this. So I hope this series is going to really get out there big, and you guys give a lot of comments, and I really hope it helps people in the world that are considering testosterone and all you guys that are on testosterone. Thank you so much.